Hi Leo, it's another great card basic demonstration. Um, I'm actually going to show you a GLCD called the ILL, oh, ILI 9486L. It arrived in the post and um, we went to drive it yesterday. Okay, all right, so let's have a look at what this thing's about. So, this is an SPI a TFT, it is four inches. Um, now, I think that's diagonal, I guess, uh, but it is quite large. Um, it's a TFT, so it's got really good colours, it's got lots of depth in terms of colour, backlit control. As I said, the resolution is quite large, it's 320 width by 480 high. Um, and it's meant for the Raspberry Pi, but um, you know, put it in front of me, we'll get it going. So what does it look like? It's got a, a nice um, big display and a 26-pin connector on the back. It's got a, a poorly documented pinout with some of the... Um, Connections missing off the uh, table, so uh, look at the code, and I've actually included the code here. But essentially, you need um, the six connectors for the SPI interface. Could be either hardware, that's a chip-specific SPI implementation, or you could use um, software. All you've got to do in the code is just comment out the um, hardware SPI line, and it will just turn on the software, which means you can move the connections to other pins rather than the ones specified by the chip manufacturer. I'm running it at 5 volts. It's pulling 279 milliamps, so I've got it on a different power supply. The pinout on the back of this board is also not documented, so um, I've worked out top left is pin 1, pin 2 is, um, sorry, top left is pin 1, bottom left is pin 2, and bottom right is pin 26. So let's have a look what it looks like. Um, this is just sitting there. I'm actually testing this on a Mega 328. Um, it's running at 32488 and it's running at 16 megahertz. So um, let's just put some code in this. I've got the standard um, demonstration, which um, we actually let's just load that in. Just flash that to start with, okay? And then we'll see what happens, okay? Um, it's just resetting it. It will reset it quite clearly. Just powering down, just programming the microcontroller. Done. Right, clears the screen once. Now, what is this is a demonstration code to test, clear screen strings, numbers in terms of bytes, words, and longs. It also tests special characters, screen positioning, different fonts, the squares, uh, the filled boxes, the filled circles, and, and lines and circles. It just tests the whole thing, so it just keeps running. And you can see it's working. Um, it's an ILL, ILI 9486L driver, and it is, you can't make this out, it's a bit squiggly on the screen, April 2017. So, what does it look like to make some code? If we look at a simpler program, um, all we're going to do is go revert back to what we had before. We're going to paint the screen red, we're going to change the font size uh, to make it quite large, uh, and then we're going to make it Put, put the foreground into black and then we're going to print some strings out on the screen and um, if I flash that in we can have a quick look at that and then we can see how it's all set up and then we're job done really pretty easy there we go so um, how is it doing that well I'm printing out the, the chip string name hence it says mega 328p I'm printing out the width plus a little string for a, a multiplier the height in actual fact, I think you can get away with um, just printing out the height because it's not a string. It will just handle it as a number. And then I'm doing print um, chip, the chip megahertz, the speed, and I'm doing that by using these calculations. So check that the, the width and the height are as expected. Okay. Um, there is a data sheet on this thing. It's um, up on the web. It's an ILI uh, 9486L. I managed to figure out what it was by emailing the manufacturer. They are pretty poor on support. They don't know very much about it, to be quite frank. Um, but the, the data sheet, basically I waded through the data sheet to um, get it going. Okay. All right, so let's just reprogram that back. Let's have a look at the setup. Um, the colors you can select are here. Now these are the available colors pre-programmed as it has got thousands of colors You just can program your own and if you want to program your own, I'll just show you uh, Just send it a six-bit value. Okay. All right. 
Uh, sorry, it's um, what is it? Is it a word? Must be a word. Okay, I'm just going to pick um, zero five five. Here we go. Look. I have no idea what color it is going to come out with, but I'm going to clear the screen to a random color. Okay, it could be revolting, but it'll be interesting. Okay, so you can program your own colors. You don't have to use the, the uh, constants. You just look at the table um, that's been defined inside of the library, and that will then tell you what what is red, what is um, the primary colors, and you can work your own out. So you have got full depth of the colors. It's a red. Oh, and no, it's a pink. You might not see the difference, but it's a pink. I can reassure you that's a pink. Okay, all right. So if you go. We'll let that. We'll we'll leave that running in the background. Okay. All right. All right. So whilst that's running, I'm going to flash that, move that out of the way. Oh, I can't, can I? Because it's a modal box. I'm sorry about that. So whilst that's just quickly programming that, um, we'll have a look through the code. So obviously you've got to specify your chip. Um, and the normal um, parameters for clock speed. Um, 16 for a, um, a mega 328. Okay. Um, right. And uh, let's have a look what's going on. So um, you need to specify the GLCD driver. For the UNOs, you can use this in other include. What's important is that you actually specify the GLCD type and then the four, the six connections that are mandated for a um, SPI connection, which is um, data command line chip select and the reset line and then the data in and the data out and the clock and that is it now as I said earlier on this is the line that says um, do hardware or software and with that it will should work fine okay um, if we just uh, quickly pop back over here you'll see exactly the same code in in the major demonstration and this is included inside of the um, inside of the um, release so if I just program that again because I'm, I'm actually my computer is quite slow in terms of um, compiling. There we go. It's just um, reset that. And this is back to the demonstration. Okay, so it works quite well. This is um, the ILI, the ILI um, 9486L graphics LCD driver. Works a treat. But if, oh, I'll show you one thing. Oh, I know. I'm going to show you this. This is actually, I'm so sorry, I nearly finished. I'm going to show you a 30 or 128 pixel times 32 pixels in comparison, an OLED driver. Okay. This is how big it is. That is the thing I programmed last week. In comparison, I can see the screen. Okay. All right. It's fantastic. Okay. Um, with that, we'll call it a wrap.